Uh, well, welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio presented by Celebs.com up at Sundance. Hannah, Kim, Dara. Um, firstly, congratulations on the last few nights of screenings. How does it feel like having, you kind of are almost at the tail end of it, you've seen it with a few different audiences. Mm -hmm. Has it played differently in different places or do you feel like it's just kind of resonated on a, on a kind of, you know, a specific level with everybody? Um, I feel like I've just been less nervous at each one <laughs> as it goes. Um, yeah, I mean the crowd. Is, the crowd has been great. Um, the pr the premiere was awesome. Last night we we were down in Salt Lake City, and you know it was fantastic. We had a great Q and A. I mm -hmm. think like only two people left to not do the Q and A, so we had the whole crowd, yeah. and they were just asking us so many questions. So yeah. really, that was really cool. Really enthusiastic. It was really cool to to go down in Salt Lake and get the public. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The first it's like public real, reaction kind of about it. That was really exciting real for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, not to not to diss the festival, <laughs> but, but yeah, that was really cool. So yeah. And how is it for you? Are you good at watching yourself on screen? Or? Um, no, I'm pretty bad. But uh, fortunately, I saw like enough, enough uh, rough cuts previous to the actual screening that I was able to watch it with to deal uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little more objectively than I had pre before, and so yeah. was not hypercritical of myself the whole time. Yeah. Kim, how do you feel about that? I mean, obviously, you've been a performer, but yeah. not necessarily in this format. Right, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think I'm more comfortable with it because I, I just, you know, I don't know, a couple of years ago I was like, oh, you know, I am what I am, whatever, I can't, you know, I, I get, you definitely get used to people staring at you, being on stage, um, so I, I just try not to be critical, really, you know, it, it physically, just what, how I look, or I just try to look at what I'm doing, how I'm acting, that kind of thing, and try to grow from that now, yeah. just like I do with music, you know, um, I try to have a better performance every time. So having the singing in the movie mm -hmm. as well, did that kind of ease that transition in a sense, or did it make it strange? A strange experience for you. Can no, it was. I think it was. It's. A, it was actually a fairly seamless uh, tra transition. I mean, I. I kind of. I, I drew from the same place that I do with music. Um, I go to the same place. I, I found I was going to the same place to sort of focus. Yeah. Whenever we were gonna shoot the scene, um, as I do whenever I get on stage and, I, and I'm ready to do the song and get through the song. You know, because I'm at a place now, especially with music, where. There are there are times where I'm playing the song and I'm thinking about something different. I'm just like on autopilot, you know, and I have to come back and go, where am I at in the song? And I'm singing yeah. and playing too, you know. It's yeah. a weird experience. So I've heard that from performers yeah. quite often. And no, it, it's even weird. people who do stage plays and they do eighty shows. Sometimes yeah. they can't remember if they've already said a line yeah. or they said it the night before. <laughs> yes. And it can get a little bit. I check in with myself during yeah. the song sometimes. <laughs> um, when was the first time you met Matt? I met him um, it early 2011, so I guess April, Aprilish around 2011. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not true. It would be it would have been the summer. Um, I did a show and I did it in Charlottesville, and he and um, Amy came to the show. Amy's Amy Belk, the co-writer of the film, came to the show, and we had dinner and talked about the film. And then I came back to do a. No, that was when I did the first reading with Ned at his place. He lives in Charlottesville, Virginia. So did you know Ned before from I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even know his brother. His brother's Will Oldham. I didn't even know Will Oldham. <laughs> <laughs> right, well Will but obviously is, has a yeah. you know, pretty nice acting yeah. background up here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was really cool stuff. to discover that, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And and in terms of you guys meeting, did you only meet on set or did you rehearse or like was it Oh these two. You guys knew each other before a little bit, right? Yeah. Uh yeah, we were <laughs> Every word you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hannah and I are childhood friends. So yeah. is that we've been friends pretty much well since my birth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Our parents. Our parents. Um. But so far as meeting Kim, uh, it was really fun. We had uh, Matt brought us down uh, like the April previous to the July that we shot, mm -hmm. and uh, we all met there. We had mm -hmm. like a reading at. Matt's father's house. Mm -hmm. Matt, like as I kind of we were kind of saying before, Matt is like is such an established Baltimore, Maryland filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Going there and being in his world, like, did you? How was that experience for you? And like, how did you kind of sink into that city? Um, I think we like. I know Jared and I absolutely fell in love with mm -hmm. Baltimore. <laughs> so it was it was great to see that side of Baltimore through yeah. Matt's eyes. It was really cool. Like we got exposed to things like. 
I remember driving down the street with him and him showing us all of the cement or was it cement cats that would be hanging oh, from yeah. walls? It's like a big Baltimore thing, like, <laughs> yeah. and painted screens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like screen doors that are painted with these really elaborate like beach yes. scenes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, so we would That's do those kind of tours. That was really yeah. cool. Yeah, a little different to the wire. Y yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a really cool mix of like uh, urban and rural too. Yeah. Like we did, like one of the houses that we filmed at Jeff Grace's house, just like the mm -hmm. most beautiful like rolling streets. Mm -hmm. Like nice porches. Yeah, there yeah. is sort of a small town feel about yeah. this yeah. city too, which totally. is really nice. Reminds me a bit of Stratford, Ontario. <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it actually reminded me a little bit of Cincinnati. There were yeah. aspects of Cincinnati and Baltimore. Yeah. And Matt, as an artist, like, what did he, how did he, like, when he approached you and stuff, did he, did you watch his previous films? Did you see some of kind of the art installation pieces that he's done? Like, did you get to know him on that level outside of just, this one project? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Darren and I actually met Matt at, um, we went to a screening of Putty Hill oh, cool. when he played in New York. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's how we, we met him and we, we absolutely fell in love with Putty Hill. Yeah, that's like so. why we really originally like reached out to him and met him and talked to him about Yeah. Because we really loved the film. And, and so now, kind of just being at the beginning of this journey, um, knowing that you'll probably spend the next year and a half kind of in some kind of way connected to this movie. Is that a thrilling prospect or is it is it going to be exciting for you being able to travel with the movie as well? Oh, totally. Yeah. I think yeah. well, well, Darren and I actually both just graduated, so this is like a nice <laughs> yeah. transition into the real yeah. world. Yeah. Like a, really, <laughs> a really good way to avoid post-grad malaise, yeah. like go to Sundance. Or, yeah, right. Or finding <laughs> a job. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Probably a better option. So you, you didn't watch, like, Ordinary People or Kramer vs. Kramer or any of those sorts of films, or you did? Or, no, I, yeah. I did not. Actually. Yeah. Did he have any film references for you in terms of, like, the kind of family that this is? I remember um, Matt gave us a copy uh, of I Know Them More yeah, to watch right. at one point. That's beautiful. I think mm -hmm. that was more, um, that's Sandrine Bonner's first film too. So, and she has like, um, like a bit of a naivety, but like such a magnetism mm -hmm. and naturalism about her mm -hmm. that she was a good person to look at. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the real preparation I think for for building this the family was the this weekend that we yeah. All got together and met for that the first time and just yeah. weekend, so. hung out. It was really and, and became a family. Because visually, it, I mean, you guys all look like you belong together. Do we? <laughs> yeah, cool. totally. Yeah. Do you feel <laughs> that? Do you feel like I gave birth to Hannah? Do you feel like <laughs> Mom? Feel I don't know. Mom? Let me check in. <laughs> check in with my womb. <laughs> Well, very cool. Well, thank, thank you. Well, um, <laughs> thanks so much for coming in and spending a few minutes with us. Thank you. And thank congratulations you. again. And thanks. yeah, have fun.